zookeeper at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens had to jump into a moat and climb an electric fence to escape a lion inside an exhibit. That was a live look right there at the gates of the zoo. Tonight, that zookeeper is safe, but even the zoo director admits the lion was too close for comfort. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. Action News Jack's Courtney Cole is live at the zoo. And Courtney, the deputy zoo director says that an open door allowed that animal to get close to the zookeeper. That's right, and right here at these gates here at the Jacksonville Zoo, the deputy zoo director tells me that one of the staff members was servicing the lion exhibit but forgot to secure the door behind themselves, and that's how one of the lions was able to get inside. Now, just in the last hour and a half, we were able to get out to the lion exhibit so we can give you a better idea of where this happened. Once a second staff member realized the potential for danger, they were able to warn the person inside the exhibit. The deputy director told Action News Jack the staff member took one important step that could have helped save their life. It was because the staff member was alerted by another staff member mm -hmm. and then they turned to face the animal and, and big cats tend to attack from behind. Now, the staff member also then jumped into the water, knowing that the lion would not go after it in the water. On Action News Jax at 11, I'm going to tell you what, they're, what steps they're taking here at the zoo now to make sure this doesn't happen again and why those steps aren't so cut and dry. Reporting live at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.